Hey everybody, it's Robin Nolan, and in this video, you're gonna see me demonstrate seven styles of gypsy jazz rhythm, four swing and three Latin. If you would like me to help you get your rhythm right, then join me for a free live workshop that I'm giving this Friday, September the 24th. I'll be taking you through my brand new method, which is step-by-step -step to learning all the rhythms you're gonna see in this video. Okay, let's start with the first rhythm, which is basic lap hop. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Basic lap pump is just using the down strokes, no up stroke, four to the bar down. And then the left hand is critical and making sure each beat is short, dry, and crisp, giving it the swing. In the Get Your Rhythm Right course, we've got exercises for the left hand and exercises for the right hand to make sure that you get your rhythm right. All right, that was the basic lap pump swing rhythm. And in the next example, we're gonna check out the Rosenberg swing rhythm. Now this one will utilize the upstroke in the right hand and it's actually my favorite way to swing. Take it away. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So this is the Rosenberg swing, and this is the rhythm which uses the upstroke. So instead of just going like that, we're gonna go just like the ride cymbal on a jazz drum kit. A one, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four. Now, it's again critical to make sure this is synced with the left hand, and in the Get Your Rhythm Right course, I've got exercises for both the right hand and the left hand to bring it all together. Get your rhythm right. All right, that was the Rosenberg rhythm. Now we're gonna look at the bass line swing. This is where we're gonna add a bass line to our rhythm playing, and this is perfect when you're playing without a bass. Take it away. <laughs> So this is swinging using a bass line. So what we're doing is playing the bass note in the chord and then followed by the notes in whatever chord you're playing. And that's the basic technique, but the real trick is to be able to connect chords. For example, A minor to D minor, you would connect like this. The piece I just played was actually minor swing and I was going and using all sorts of cool bass lines and connecting chords. So if you would like to learn how to do that and get that actual transcription to that minor swing bass line, then get your rhythm right. You know where to go. All right, that was bass line swing. The next rhythm is going to be the modern style of swing rhythm. Now, this is a really cool rhythm. It works great at medium tempos. And the master of this is Birelli Lagrand and Hanno Winterstein. So take it away, the modern swing. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So this is the modern swing sound, and it's a variant on the basic la pomp that we looked at earlier, except the left hand is staying on the chord slightly longer, and there's a trick to the right hand to get a bit of flesh and nail into the sound, which smooths it all out. So if you wanna learn how to do that, and learn those chords on all of me, then get your rhythm right. You know where to go. 
Okay, now it's time to turn to the Latin rhythms. And the first one we're gonna look at is the Gypsy Bossa. This is crucial to get right in Gypsy Jazz guitar. And there's tunes like Bossa Dorado, Forza Fora, where you'll need this rhythm. So let's get the Gypsy Bossa down. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So this is the Gypsy Bossa, and this is really famous rhythm and tunes like that, which is called Made for Wesley. Bossa Dorado is another one. Four Sephora is another one. Crucial to get this rhythm right and crucial to get it sounding really funky and almost like rock and roll. You need that backbeat. So in the Get Your Rhythm Right course, I want to show you how to get that backbeat what to do with your left hand to make the chord changes smooth, and I want you to get your rhythm right, okay? So that's the Gypsy Bossa. All right, that's the Gypsy Bossa, really cool rhythm. The next rhythm we're gonna look at is the Funky Finger Bossa. Now this is really cool rhythm, which is kind of a variant of the Gypsy Bossa, and you can literally apply to any tune. Take it away. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So this is the funky finger bossa, a variant of the gypsy bossa, except that we're using our fingers, even though I use a pick. And that's how I'm gonna show you how to do it in the Get Your Rhythm Right course. And if you just take one chord, let's just take we take A minor seven, the rhythm is basically going. <laughs> pieces like Manada Carnival, Black Orpheus. But it also works on the, like the piece I just played. It basically works on any piece you like. Uh, tears. gives a really nice lilting Latin rhythm. So if you would like to learn that one, exactly what you do with your left and right hand, then get your rhythm right. All right, the last rhythm we're gonna look at today is the Gypsy Bolero. Django Reinhardt used this rhythm. He composed a beautiful song called True Blanc Bolero using this really cool rhythm. So let's check it out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This is the Gypsy Bolero, and Django Rhino wrote this beautiful tune called True Blanc Bolero, which is a really great tune to use. And this rhythm, again, can be used on any piece. This is the True Blanc Bolero, but we could even use one of Django's other tunes, Manoir de Marev's. <laughs> this action in your right hand, which basically goes yeah. And it's a really, really cool rhythm. So if you would like to learn how to do that, right hand exercises, left hand exercises, and musical examples, then get your rhythm right, join me in the course. All right, they're the seven Gypsy Jazz rhythms I wanted to show you today. If you would like to join me for a free live workshop this Friday, the 24th of September, then go to gypsyjazzclub.com and you can join me for free. I'll be going through my brand new course, Get Your Rhythm Right. And for each of these rhythms, I've got step-by-step -step exercises, PDF workbook to work through, and I'll be guiding you personally to make sure that you've got your rhythm right. So I wish you a beautiful day. Stay inspired.